All right. We're about to check out Snow the Product with I Don't Wanna Leave Remix. This is her official music video. I'm guessing she wraps this one by herself. I don't see no features. So now we're gonna get to check out and see what the girl can do on her own. If she got it or not. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get to see what she can do. So far, on her features, she's done a great job. She's actually someone I wanna start actually like just investigating on her music. But a lot of people say she don't get pushed like she should. But she's with Atlanta Records. And if you really think about it, after what I seen Atlanta Records do to Lupe, I wouldn't ever want anyone to sign with him. Atlanta, I mean, Lupe was at the height of his career with food and liquor. Then he had to cool. And he could have kept soaring high and high and high. And then they put that album four years in the hole, Lasers. And it was an experimental album and no one liked the album. Lupe didn't even like the album. It had the show goes on on there, which banged. And of course they spit true. And Shining Down was good. There's just two more that was good. I can't think of the name of them because someone stole my Lasers. But I remember when the album first dropped, I went and got it. And I was like, this sounds a little different than the usual Lupe. And he came out in an interview saying it was an experiment. But here's the, here's the problem with Atlanta Records. They put him four years in a hole in that album. They had to do a demonstration protest outside of the building of Atlanta Records just to get the album released, okay? Next album he did, uh, Tan Su and Wu, uh, no, Tan Fu, Fu and Youth, something like that. Something along those lines. I have to look at the name again. It took Anonymous to get that album released. And then Atlanta Records released him from his record, from his uh, contract. You know how much, you see how much trouble that is? For an artist, who was at the peak and could have kept going. So now I heard Jordan Lucas signed with him. But Jordan Lucas be doing, from what I've seen, he does music that has messages, like real deal. So what's gonna happen to him? Is he gonna get put on the shelf? Now I don't get it, man. These companies be putting people on the shelves. So now we have Snow the Product. I heard she's with him and she don't get pushed like she should. I hope they release her so Tech Nine can pick her up. And then I hope like Jordan Lucas hates it and then he can go to Tech Nine too. <laughs> Just send everybody to strange music. <laughs> They're talented. They can do their own thing. They just need to be on an independent label so they can say what they want to say and do what they want to do. That's the way I feel about it. Anyway, enough of my talking. Let's check this out and see how well the girl can flow by herself. And, and here we go. I don't want to leave, cause I ain't really done yet, cause I ain't seen the sun yet, I'm trying to see what's next. I don't want to leave, cause I ain't really done yet, cause I ain't seen the sun yet, I'm trying to see what's next. Shit, I'm on 1%. Done way too much for too many. I rap too much, rap too hard, confuse plenty. How the fuck a bitch this pretty rap that fire? I'm a diamond in the rough and bitches can't stop fire. I've been all that, thinking I'ma have to quit playing. I've been staying in my lane and I ain't never switch any. But to me, this game ain't pay me right. Ooh, I was gonna kill him, Lord save me. I've been the realest bitch coming in the game, yeah. You don't make it, got no skip it, G. If you ain't with it, get the fuck up out the way, yeah. I still got the drive, baby, pick a seat, cause I've been on my own. And bitch, at this moment, this is rap calisthenics. I am just at home, but in my zone. So Said and wild it out and pile it up Fuck a hate a word of mouth They never done shit for me But spread the word that I'm the fucking hardest ever Doesn't really matter anymore Cause I've been out rapping all these dudes too I'm shaking every hand while I'm on tour Free And never got the props that all these dudes do Cause all my product pushers told me that I got they blessing Told me swing these lanes bitch and get them checks Go finally get what you deserve You underrated, overstressed, you underpaid Do anything but just don't quit and I don't wanna leave Cause I ain't really done yet Cause I ain't seen the sun 
If you spitting truth, not a product. I'm sorry. Plus, you ain't trying to sell sex. ¿Dónde van? ¿Para dónde van? Ya llegó la mexicana hasta con Gabán. No ronden tanto, háganse que yo arrebato y abran paso. Clave que ya no hay atraso. ¿Y cuántas veces hay que confirmar que nadie me llega? La gente me niega, me dicen que se traban, se enredan. Si no me quieren, pues me voy como Julieta Venega. I wasn't expecting this. I would have got some subtitles for you guys. He vivido puras fallas y ahora voy a ganar. Ya no me cuenten historias más. Ya me robaron la paciencia, ya no voy a parar. I don't want to leave. Because I ain't really done yet. If you don't like the Mexican music, too bad for you. Cause that every time I hear it, I wanna, I wanna move. I didn't know she was gonna spit that in Spanish. Uh, I have to apologize. Wasn't expecting it. I would got some subtitles for you guys. Um. I think Snowda Products' issue is she's not trying to sell sexy. From all the videos I've seen her in, she doesn't dress like super duper sexy. And that's one of the issues when it comes down to being a female rapper. It's when you about your flow and you about yourself. The industry hardly ever wants to take a female rapper serious. Like, serious, serious. And she's not trying to sell sexy. Like, all the videos I've seen her in, she's wearing jeans, long sleeve shirts. I mean, I ain't seen all her stuff, but I'm just saying, from what I've seen, like, there's like three videos so far, she's not trying to sell sexy. So, now, especially here in America, everything is over-sexualized. So if you're not doing that, the record label will look at you and be like, well, if you wore some booty shorts, you know what I'm saying? Learn how to do a few twerk moves while you're rapping. we we'll push you because they're going to sell you off sex alone. You know what I'm saying? Off you being a, a sexy female. And she's a pretty woman. Like She's a very pretty woman. But she's not trying to sell sexy. And it is difficult for female rappers to get taken seriously. I got a lot of people laughing at my video when I had American rappers versus Korean rappers in the show of Mickey Minaj. And I'm just like, ugh. Because Mickey Minaj sells that sexy crap. Uh, Iggy Azalea, they sell that sexy crap. And I'm not going to take you, I'm not going to take you serious if that's what you're coming with. Because I want to hear the bars. I want to see what you can do if what you're not trying to throw your, your titties and your vagina in my face. I'm trying to focus on what you actually say. And to me, that music is not good. She's good. She's pretty. But she's not trying to sell sexy. That's her issue. That's probably why they don't push her. That was a good song. I'm sorry, it made me want to just. But anytime I hear Mexican music, that's what it makes me want to do. <laughs> There's something in it. I don't know what it is. Something in it. That was good. She is a good rapper. But the beanies, long sleeve shirts, they, Land Lakers ain't gonna take it serious. And she's right. She's right. She said she could just switch her style up. She probably could have been wearing skimpy skirts and and rapping all trying to rap all feminine and stuff like that. But she rapped like a tomboy, and they be like that don't sell. You know what I'm saying? Like it don't sell. She could have super switch her style up and get all that money. If she really wanted to, she could do it. But she seems like she wants to stay true to who she is. So there's a. Millions of us who deal with that issue. Your boy is Nixon. Let me know what you thought about the vid. I liked it. I like her message. It's true what she's saying. But, I mean, the industry's not going to take it serious. And we know it. 
we know what they want from female rappers. Anyway, I'm out.